Hi everyone, in this video we will have a look at the CC examination settings in Fedina. Let's begin with the general settings. Under general settings, we need to enable the type of grading pattern that supports your institution. So here you're going to enable CC and you're going to save this. Once you've saved it, you can go back to the, your settings and under your settings, you're going to go for manage subjects and here for the particular class and the batch, you're going to create a subject. By creating a subject, you're going to enter the name of the subject and code a maximum weekly classes. We can enable this option if this particular subject has no examination. Below you find the option called six subject. We can enable this option if this subject is a six subject. Six subject means it's an additional subject as a six subject will be excluded from the final calculation. The next option that you have is the ASL subject. This ASL subject will be included in the assessment for in speaking and listening skills. This is as per CBSC norms and in most cases it's going to be the English. By enabling this option you're going to choose any one of these ASL marks. It can be a maximum of 20 marks or a maximum of 10 marks. By selecting it you can save it and the subject is going to be created. Now getting back to the examination module by going to academics you can find examination module and you have these settings here. So here is where you find the CC settings. Under CC settings we have the basic settings that we have to do here. Before we begin with this let's have a look at the CC examination pattern. CC examination settings are of two types scholastic and co-scholastic. Scholastic consists of normal subjects and co scholastic consists of co curricular subjects. Scholastic has 9 point grading system, whereas co scholastic has 5 point grading system. Scholastic settings are segregated into FAs and essays. FAs have a weightage of 10 each and essays have a weightage of 30 each. And under Scholastic, we have two FAs and one essay. So that is going to be two times of 10 FA. plus 30 SA which is going to have a weightage of 50. This is for one exam category. Let's call the one, uh, first exam category to be term 1. The same thing will be applicable for term 2 as well. Moving back to the setting, the same thing has to be created for the settings. We'll go for the basic settings. Under basic settings, we have the CC grade set. Under CC grade set, we are going to create the course scholastic grade sets. Course scholastic grade sets are 5 point grading system as I mentioned below. You can go for the option new and create a grade set with a name. And inside this grade set, we are going to create grades. So below you can see the 5 point grading that I've created. I've gone for the option add grade and giving a grade name A with a grade point. So each of these grades have a grade point and I have created them by mentioning it here. The next option that we have is CC exam category. Under the exam category, there are two types of exam categories that I'm going to create term one and term two. I'm going for the option new. I'm going to create these exam categories with the name and a description. Once these exam categories are created, let's go for the next option, CC weightages. CC weightages can be created by going for the option new. And here you're going to mention the weightage 10 for one essay and you're going to select the exam category. So the 10 FA will fall under the first exam category term one. In Fedina, we are not going to create two FAs. One FA with a weightage of 10 
is enough and it is understood that there are two FAs by Fedina. So we are going to create only one FA with a weightage of 10 for exam category term 1. For the term 1, you are going to create another weightage with 30 for SA. The same thing will be created for term 2 as well. Once you have created the weightage, the next step would be to assign these weightages. We're going to select the class. For this particular class, we are going to assign weightages by selecting them below. And you're going to save this. And that's all about the basic settings. Moving to the next setting, co-scholastic settings. Under co-scholastic settings, we are going to create co-scholastic items right here. I can go for the option new to create an observation group. Here I'm going to mention the name of the group. I'm going to select a CC grade set. So I'm going to select the grade set that I've already created under Q Scholastic grade set. I've created five point grading system and this is going to be the Q Scholastic item. So this is going to have a five point grading system. Below I'm going to select the assessment type from the drop down and I'm going to select the descriptive indicator count for my reports. Out of the descriptive indicators that is mentioned, there will be best of two that is taken to the report. So you're going to mention the count here. So it depends on the count, the number of indicators will be taken to the report. Once you have entered this, you can save it. So we have created the observation groups. Inside these observation groups, we are going to create various observations. So I'm going to go for the option new and I'm going to type the observations about these observation groups. And once I've created these observation groups inside which I'm going to create these descriptive indicators. I'm going for the option new and I'm going to create these descriptive indicators. This way I have to create various observation groups that I want to give for my students. And once these observation groups are created, the next step would be to assign these co-scholastic items. To assign Q Scholastic item, you need to select a class and here you're going to select the different observation groups that you're going to assign for. Let me save it. Now I've assigned these observation groups for each of these batches. The next thing is the observation group code settings. So under observation code settings, for any particular class, you can have a particular code for your observations. So each of your observations are displayed here and for these you're going to mention a code here. Let's move to the next setting, Colastic settings. Under Colastic setting we have FAI settings which is nothing but formative assessment items. Under formative assessment items it can use any of these formula. It can be total marks mode or common denominator mode. Total marks mode will calculate by using the actual mark by applying it to the formula and converting it to a maximum mark. Here you can see one of the examples for total marks mode. You can also choose common denominator mode. Common denominator mode will convert to have a common denominator. So here you can have a look at the example. You're going to choose one of this and save this. And once the FA settings are performed, we can create FA items. For each of the subjects, we are going to have four FA items. And four FA items are divided into two, which falls under one exam category. So I'm going to create by going for the option new. And here you're going to enter the subject name by selecting the FA item. And you're going to mention the maximum mark and the exam category under which this particular FA item falls. And you're going to select the FA criteria calculation as well. So here it can be average or sum. You can select them and you can save. So I have created four FA items for the subject English and two of them belonging to one exam category. The other two belonging to the other exam category. Inside these FA items, we're going to create FA criteria. This is where you're going to mention the different types of FA criteria for a particular subject by going for add FA criteria. You're going to mention the criteria name, the maximum mark and the formula key. 
here you're going to mention the calculation for these criteria. So each of it has a key and using these keys, you're going to define a formula here by going for edit formula. So here you can see the formula keys for each of these criteria. You can mention a formula here and save it. So this way you're going to create various FA groups for the subjects that you have. And the last step under Colastic settings is to assign these FA items. And select the class and select a particular subject and select the items and you're going to save it. Again, I'm selecting a different subject and I'm going to select FA items and save this. So now it's assigned. Moving back to the settings, the next thing that we have is CC report settings. Here under CC reports, the first option that we have is about report headers. About report headers, you can choose as per CBSC norms by going for this option and you need to enter the CBSC institution affiliation number. Or we can go for the customizable header by choosing this option. This header will include your institution address, phone number, email ID and the institution logo. The next one that you have is the attendance. You can either go for auto generate for student or it will manually create after printing. The next one that you have is about health status and self awareness. Both these options will be a section in detail for the CC reports using the student report modules. To have more information about the student report modules, you can have a look at the student report module. The next thing that you have is the final result criteria. You can create final results criteria. You're going to mention the pass criteria for each of the classes. Let's say here in the grades, if any one of these are the pass criteria, you're going to select that and you can give a pass text. So this text is going to be an alternate of the word pass and here you're going to enter the text that's going to be an alternate of eligible for improvement. By default, the alternate text is going to be pass and eligible for improvement. You can change it by entering a different text here. The same thing can be done for all the classes and you can save the settings. The last one that we have is the upscale settings. You can upscale the student exam score as per CBSE pattern. The grades can be upgraded to the next higher grade in one or two subjects. So here you can see it's for the course scholastic grade range. You're going to mention the grade point range to the other one. The same thing you're going to do for two subjects upscaling. You can enter the grade range here and save the settings now. So that's all about the settings. Once the settings are completed, you can go for exam management. Choose the particular class for which you're going to create exam. You can see the exam management option. Under manage exams, you're going to add an exam group. You can enter the name of the exam and select one of the exam categories and after selecting you can create it. Now you're going to schedule the exam by going for manage exams and here you can add subject exams by entering these scores here. A maximum and a minimum mark and you can schedule the exam. I'm scheduling for both the subjects and once scheduled I can create exam. And now the exam is scheduled and you need to publish the exam schedule so that the students and the parents will get to know about the examination. So now once I publish, there is a notification that is triggered and all the students and the parents are notified regarding the examination. Let's assume the examination is completed. 
and the exam scores have been evaluated. Now we can enter the scores by going for the subjects here and here you're going to enter the subject scores. Let me enter the subject scores for a maximum of 100 marks and save this. Once I save, the grades are automatically calculated here. Now I can enter the FA scores as well by going for FA scores. And here each of these FA subjects, I'm going to enter the indicator or uh, respective marks. And you can see the maximum mark is 50. So I'm going to enter a score for the maximum mark for all the students in this clutch. So for each of the students in this batch, I'm going to enter the scores individually and save it. And I can go back to the next FA by selecting the FA and again I'm going to enter the scores. And this is going to be for a maximum mark of 100 and I'm going to enter the score. The same thing I'm going to do for the other subjects and the other FA scores. Now once the exam creation is completed, let's move to the generate reports option uh, in the report center we have a cc reports here we're going to generate the report by going for generate reports option i'm going to choose the particular class and the active batch and generate the report now once the report is generated it moves out of this scheduled job it's on queue right now once it moves out of the queue let's go back to the reports and let's have a look at the student wise report under the CC reports, let's go for the student wise report and here I'm going to select one of the batches and I, I can go for all the option or I can go for term 1 and term 2 separately. If I'm going for all, it will display both term 1 and term 2 and the final calculation. Here for a particular student and for both the subject, you can see the FA1, FA2 and FA2. FA1, FA2 and SA1 score and the sum of all these. The same is calculated for term 2 and the overall as well. The overall grade point is also calculated. Then you can take a CGPA and you can take a detailed report from here. We also have the option to take a PDF basic report and a CSV report. You can select separate terms and you can view the scores for each of these terms. Let's say I'm going for term 2, you can see the score secured for term 2 as well. The next type of report that we have is a subject-wise report. You can select this particular class and batch and you can go for any of these subjects. Let's say I'm using English and I can filter the student's report based on the student category and the gender. Now by generating this kind of report, you get to see the student's name and for this particular subject, how much they've secured in all the examinations. It also shows FA scores and SA scores and you can take a CSV report or a PDF report from here. The next thing that we have is a consolidated report. You can take a consolidated report by choosing the class, the batch and the assessment group. You have individual assessment groups, you have grouped assessment groups and you have each terms and ASL subjects listed separately. Let's say you're choosing one of this and again you can filter them based on the student category and the gender. You can view them. So now it shows for each of these subjects separately and the grades and marks which is going to be the sum of all the FA categories. And you can take a CSV report and PDF report from here. The next type of report that we have is a CBSE report. Under CBSE report, there are three types of reports, which is CBSE scholastic reports. This CBSE scholastic report can be taken for a particular batch with the exam group, let's say term one exam, and I'm going to take it for one subject. The same thing can be done for term two for another subject and this is how the CBSE exam report will look like. This is for course, this, this is for scholastic report and you can take the same thing for course scholastic and you can take a ASL subject report as well. Moving back to reports, we have the batch wise student report where you can download by generating a batch wise student report. So you're going to select the class 
and the batch and you can go for detailed report or a basic report let's go for a basic report as of now and now it's on queue it will take some time and once it moves out of queue you can see the status success and you will be able to download the file like how i have displayed here let me download the file to show you how it looks like so inside the folder you will be able to see all the students report in the basic form as i chosen basic so here you can see all the student reports moving back to cc reports the next thing that we have is a upscale report in case if you have done any upscaling it will be showing the batches with the upscaling report previous batch exam report will allow you to view the previous batches and the exam report for the particular batch that's all about cc examination setting thanks for listening